Hi guys, how's it going? Today I wanted to do something that involved just the vanilla stuff in Scrap Mechanic. And it kind of goes off the back of Khan's robot arm. If you've seen Khan's video on his robot arm, he's kind of got a robot arm set up. But I've managed to build one that does exactly the same thing. But I have saved one logic block. I hear what you're saying. Big whoop. Why save one logic block? Well, you think of the resources that you save. So here we've got our logic set up. And you turn it on. And obviously the pistons pull safe. And you've got one to go out and it pushes both the pistons out and they hold and one to come back and it brings them all back in as it does with cards only like i say it saves us one logic block so for me to set this up a similar thing i use a loop and my loop is an and gate an or gate and a nor gate and we just set those up in a loop as is and then this is how we turn it on so we've got a switch going to the and gate but our switch also goes to a nor gate then off of the NOR gate that's in our loop, we've got an OR gate, and we've got another NOR gate, and then they go to the pistons as you see here. So if we go from our switch, remember the switch goes to the AND gate in the loop, and it goes to a separate NOR gate, and that NOR gate, as you look here for the connections, goes to that NOR gate there, and it also goes to that NOR gate there. The button that we use to extend goes to the very last OR gate before the piston and it also goes to the very top OR gate in the loop. And the button to retract goes to the very bottom NOR gate in the system and it also goes to the NOR gate in the loop. And when we turn it on, it's a little bit like this. Extend, holds, retracts, holds. Seems to work fine, I've not had any issues with it, but that will save you one logic gate. Now, when it comes to doing the same thing with controllers, I found out that I could do this, but I wondered where I could use this in order to show you guys a way that you could use it. And all I could think of was like this, in a, a turret for a tank. Now, I'll talk you through a few things. So, you might see other YouTubers put all the controls on seating, like this. So, what we've got here... Is a driver's seat set up, three controllers, three bearings, and kind of a an A and D converter. So what happens here is if I jump in, if I press forwards, you see the cannon tilts down. If I press back, the cannon tilts back. And if I go to the right, it turns to the right. If I go to the left, it turns to the left. Well, my problem here is... Well, look how slow it goes for a start. Now, this is set to do 10 degrees of rotation, and it's at the fastest that it'll go. But it is still kind of super slow, and I'm not sure I'm a fan of that. Also, with this setup, I can't actually drive. Uh, I'm unable to drive at all. So, I've been doing a little bit of playing, and this is the strange system that I've come up with. So, as you see over here, we've got kind of what we want to set up. There's our turret, and we've got it on push buttons. So, you push one button, it turns one way push the other button, it turns the other way. And this third button here is to basically reset it to center. The reason being, if we push one and we spin all the way around this way, as you see, we won't be able to go any further around to the left. So if we push this one, it's going to go this way around. So because you're working on a controller and they only go in clockwise directions, if you're using push buttons, you can't reverse them. You have to have kind of like a reset button that you press and hold and it's just reset all the bearings right now. But this works. So I thought, how could I use this to show you guys? I thought I'd put it on, on a vehicle. So this is just a very basic gas-driven tank, if you like. I've got suspension glitch steering. Uh, I'll show you how it's all set up. So there's our gas engine. Our gas engine runs to four of the six wheels, front and back. Our steering is off of suspension. So if you use suspension glitch steering... It works. So this is our right and our left and our forwards and our backwards. And as you see, it doesn't have any effect on our guns whatsoever. This means that we can drive our tank and we're not messing anything up. It also means, however, using that push button system, that if I'm cruising this way and I see somebody, I can turn my turret while still moving in a forwards direction. I can also rotate my turret back should they go around me. And finally, I've got my third button to reset us where we need to be. My fourth button at the minute is just a demonstration to set up my guns so that I'm able to shoot my guns. So this is a prime example. So I'm driving this way. I can turn the turret to the back, line them up, 
and fire. Nice and simple. You might be a little bit too high to hit the green, we are, but for the most part, you can see what I mean, it all works on a push button, it's not impacting our driving ability, we can still kind of drive away. Imagine that was a farm bot, for example, and we were driving at him, we'd be able to drive away while still lining him up to shoot at him. I'll show you how we built it right back over at base. I just thought you guys might like it. It just means that you can activate controllers off of push buttons in the same way that you can those piston systems. It's also very handy when you're getting raided. Okay, we'll just reset ourselves. We'll just cruise up over here, take a little bit of a bump to get over our watermark. It means that we don't have to worry about getting our steering set up too much. We can just kind of point where we want to point, and then we're able just to turn and shoot where we like. We have just run out of ammo, it's not a big problem. But it's just an example of what we can do with this thing right here. So, Annoyingly, the greenies are too low for the system that I have set up, but that is not a problem. That can easily be rectified just by adding a couple more controllers and a tilt on the gun system. But basically, how do you build it? It's really simple. Very much in a similar sort of way that you build it for my way that I built for the pistons. So here it is over here, and it is literally this same loop. So again, you have an AND gate that goes into an OR gate that goes into a NOR gate. And then offer the NOR gate in a loop, just have an OR gate and another OR gate. And it's that simple. As you see with the buttons, one button goes into one OR gate, another button goes into the other OR gate, and the third reset button just goes into the NOR gate that they run off. So if we press the NOR gate, it turns off the whole system. And then if you press either of the OR buttons, you can see the turret rotates. So we have one that will rotate a bearing one way and you'll have the other controller that will rotate the bearing the other way and this gives us a left right range of movement as long as you know which one to go I just thought I'd drop that information out there for you guys because I know that some people might want to do this kind of thing it is all using vanilla stuff this stuff is all available in the very basic scrap mechanic there is no mods in this build at all and if I wanted to add a tilt system I simply could I could just add two more or gates two more controllers and two more push buttons and have this so it had a tilt forwards and backwards on the push button system so easy Really not complex at all. If I show you guys, put this bear in here, this one here, block here, this one here, and finally we'll put the cannon on here. Hook those two up. So we've got one controller, two controllers, have one of these go the other way. Set up two more oars. Those two oars go into the controllers. Have the controllers. You, you wouldn't need to do 360. You probably only need to do 180, for example. And then finally, two more push buttons. We go here and here. Set these up into these oar gates. And now we've got a fully customizable turn left. Turn right, tilt down, tilt up, reset absolutely everything into its current location. And that gives you full control of basically a turret and guns on a turret from a seat. So you can still drive your vehicle and then still use all your buttons to do whatever you want to do. I thought you guys might like that. You might be a little bit interested. It means you can fight farm bots from a distance, nice and safe, and drive away if you want that capability. Thanks for watching, you guys. You guys have been fantastic. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you again next time. Take it easy and bye for now. Bye, everybody.